Look at this. This is a Triumph Tiger 900 Rally. Catch you inside. Hello, welcome to Revelator Health. Hope you enjoying the channel and the series of videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Check out the website revelatorhealth.com. So, look, I'm still in that uh, mood for an adventure bike, maybe a bit of a touring bike as well. Uh, Triumph have allowed me to uh, test ride this 900 uh, Rally, their new bike, their latest bike that came out last March. And tell you what a monster it is. I've had so much fun on it just riding it up here. Uh, let's go through some specs. Okay, so it's got a brand new three cylinder engine, 888 cc's. It's got 12 valves, liquid cooled, dual overhead cam. Marvellous. Power is 93.9 uh, bhp and 70 kilowatts. Also running at 87 newton meters. Look at this, absolutely gorgeous. And there's lots of changes, lots of refinements on this bike from the 800 and also from the 1200. They've really gone to town on this bike. Chain drive, six-speed gear. You've got two versions. You've got the Rally, you've got the Rally Pro. With the Rally Pro, you can have an upgraded um, gear shifter, so you can have a quick shifter on there. Now, it's a tubular steel frame with a bolt-on subframe as well. The engine has been canted forward as well, so you're feeling the weight a lot lower down. The revving is a lot lower as well from the low. You've got a lot more low-end grunt, so better for off-roading, better balance and better weight distribution for off-road riding as well. But on-road, this is a peach. Now, tyres and wheels, spoked and tubeless, front and rear. We've got a monster of a 21 inch at the front. Absolutely gorgeous. And we've got a 17 inch rear. Front upside down forks with 240 millimeters of travel. Rear monoshock suspension with 230 millimeters of travel. We got twin disc brakes at the front, uh, 320 millimeters uh, with uh, four piston Brembo calipers. And at the rear, we've got a 255 uh, millimeter disc, uh, but it's only got a single uh, piston caliper on there. But works fine and it's got uh, the latest generation in uh, optimized cornering abs as well which is all fine and dandy now the width of this is 935 mil seat height which is adjustable 850 to 870 mil wheelbase is 1551 mil and height is 1452 to 1502 millimeters. Dry weight is 196 kilos, so add another 15 kilos on that for road uh, weight. And the tank is 20 liters, so you know, a decent sized tank as well. And apparently it'll do 54 miles to the gallon. Marvellous. Right, uh, enough of the specs, shall we? Let's just get on this thing and have a bit of fun. Immediately you come up, brand new screen for the 900 this is in line with the bmw and the mutaguzzi v85 this new generation tft screens that they're all going to you'll see it. it's marvelous right let's go on it let's just go and ride it and show you all about it oh yes oh yes and immediately you can see that it just lights up lovely contrast lovely colors lots of information lots of different riding modes you've got rain road sport uh, off-road if you want cruise control down there uh you've got uh, uh, the the mode selector here which you can just go through all the different modes on there it is a really really nice bike lovely seat in position lovely upright but i got to say you are slightly forward uh, with these kind of uh, motocross style bars. They are really nice. A totally different riding experience, riding position from the adventure bike, which is a 1200 on the on the Triumph. This you feel a lot more sat in the bike, a lot more front facing as well. The screen is manually operated. You just pull it forward and slide it down, which I really like. I really like something that's really simple, easy to use. On the gravel. Good, look at this. Nice. Standing up. Woohoo! Beautiful. And it, the suspension on this is so lovely. Very nice indeed. In the bends. Woohoo! Watch my head. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, let me get out of this car park and, uh, and uh, get on the road. 
Wow, I've got to say, this is a lovely bike. I wasn't expecting this to be head and shoulders above the other Triumphs that I've ridden recently, but it is, it is. You've got great off-road capability with this. It's, it feels light, it feels narrow, but that 21 inch wheel at the front makes it a lot better. It's still flickable. The weight is lowered down, so it's, um, it works really well. But you've kind of got a lot more authority because you're, you're sat forward. You're getting enough wind deflection off this if you want to do the touring, but you're still not so uh, cocooned, let's say, from the wind that you are still getting a decent riding experience. Unfortunately, with these big tourists, big adventure bikes, with the big screens, sometimes you feel as if you're not really in the riding environment because, you know, everything's uh, blown away from you. But here, you're still with it. It's a lovely bike. Lovely power delivery. Right, let's get on some back road, shall we? Right, off we go. It pulls really nicely in the bends, lovely balance. It feels as light as a feather. Clutch control is just marvelous. So light, so free. Oh, just, it's just, it's a tall bike, yes, but you don't feel it's tall at all. Oh, and it just pulls and pulls and pulls. Oh, beautiful. braking is really nice as you would expect of course you know you feel assured uh, there isn't any sort of flexing yet yeah, you've got the triumph dip i would say there isn't a bit of quite a bit of a dip but these handlebars the way they're they're set up you feel as if you're on a bit of a motocross bike you feel you feel engaged with the bike a lot more they've done a really good job here triumph of producing a bike that is a virtual all-rounder now, I just had a chat with a guy. As I suspected, as I've said lots of times, many people are kind of moving away from the big, big adventure bikes and they're dropping down a few cc's, dropping down into a smaller bike, mid-sized bike, let's say. And this is probably on the top end of the mid-sized bikes, but it's great. It's great. You can put boxes on this. You can go for, you know, the, the tour if you want. You'll be absolutely fine on it absolutely fine lots of other riders of other manufacturers are selling their bikes trading in their bikes for this one now that could be a lot of salesman talk of course it could i'm aware of that but at the same time i can understand why it is lovely lovely power delivery you, you, you know the the first and second gear isn't too long as well so it's nice it's just a nice bike and then you get into but it's a progressive gearing but it's nice. But the power doesn't suddenly jump at you uh, when you're rolling it on. It's um, It's got a smooth power delivery. It just, you know, rolls on. It's just lovely. Very, very nice. Oh, yeah. This gives you everything that the 1200 doesn't and it gives you everything that the 1200 does you know it gives you all the touring capability but it also gives you the real big fun factor and it gives you everything um that you'd want it you know to do in some decent tra trail riding you know off-road riding it's got good ground clearance it is capable yes it is a big bike and all that kind of stuff no i was just having a chat with a guy and we we're talking about dropping the bike off road because you will if you go off road serious off road this is you will inevitably drop it but they've got some really cool guards that you can actually uh put onto the bike that actually come around this tank area so you can pretty much drop it to your heart's content and you won't damage anything so look this is a bike to be ridden on road and off road <laughs> and in the seated position or the upright position now the thing is in a stock configuration it's quite i want to say a basic bike it's relatively basic when you start adding all the little bit of extras you might as well just go to the rally pro uh configuration but i tell you what lovely lovely bike i wasn't expecting this bike to be this good let's put it that way kind of taken by surprise i got to say oh 
but yeah a lovely rasp from that exhaust a lovely rasp as you accelerate up the road credentials on this absolutely fine spot on in the bends lovely balance lovely suspension lovely braking you know really feel assured braking there is the triumph dip on it as i would say but it's it's fine it's absolutely fine lovely power delivery clutch is silky smooth gear selection silky smooth all the stuff that you're kind of expecting from triumph these days they deliver time time again build quality uh, modern tech things that working rideability it's great they've kind of found a bike now that has the latitude that maybe a lot of riders were kind of looking for they wanted a, a tourer they wanted something that was fun on the road for shorter distances commuting but they also wanted something that is kind of a, a bit more off-road capable if you compare this to the triumph 1200 scrambler uh, which I uh, sort of test rode as well. That is so much, so similar to this. So similar to this in terms of the fun factor. But it doesn't, it falls short on that touring capability factor. This, you, you know, you're buying this for its performance, both on-road and off-road, but also uh, its looks as well. The Scrambler looks like a Scrambler, just a big, beefy Scrambler. This looks like a really decent bike. You've got the road version, the off-road version, of course. It's just, it goes into the bend so beautifully, so beautifully. If you're looking for a bike that's lighter weight, uh, still capable for the longer hauls, this is it this is the bike that you want and if you want to attack some trails every now and again you think yeah i really want to go do some trail riding this is it but just like the big bikes just like anything if you get into serious challenging off-road off-roading then it will be harder work than let's say a really uh, small bike a 250cc something like that but it's going to be a lot more capable and you're going to have a lot more fun on this off-road than you would let's say a big adventure bike it ticks so many boxes in that regard and the weather decided to uh, uh, be very mean to me now but look that's all part of the fun riding bikes isn't it and this is just uh, it's just lapping it up lapping it up very nice indeed the screen just ch changes uh, according to the uh, light conditions oh beautiful suspension yeah look it's a cross between uh, on-road and off-road you know it's it's all automatically set up it's just nice it's just a really really nice bike power delivery oh power delivery is on point it really is the thing that's going to stop you riding this bike is going to be uh the style the style it's whether you like this style of bike or not it's whether you like this kind of riding position you're upright the seat is a lot more comfortable on this than on the 1200 actually i've got to say the 1200 i thought was still like my old explorer was still a bit on the the harder side the scrambler had a, a half decent seat but you know it's not for long distance this is a much nicer seat so i would say comfort wise riding position wise you're much more immersed in this bike and it's a much of a more of a riding uh, bike much more of a, a comfortable bike as well i like this one i like this a lot you can probably tell that though can't you I've come into riding this with a lot of bias, a lot of preconceptions, and I thought, nah, absolute load of rubbish. No, I won't like that. Uh, too big, too bulky. No, 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 no. But I thought I'd give it a go for the touring aspect. I'm presently surprised that this will do it. I went up on a couple of trails earlier on, uh, just on it, and as I expected, yeah, absolutely fine. No problems with it at all. Yeah get some knobblies on it if you really want to do some half decent or half challenging uh you know sort of terrain even the road tires when i had my triumph explorer for 90 percent of the terrain uh off-road this is uh, they'll be absolutely fine uh, it only you know gets a bit of an issue when you're talking about going off-road uphill in wet slimy conditions loose loose surface but if it's on relatively easy uh, trails, or relatively flat, a bit of undulation, yeah, absolutely fine. This will eat it up. You'd have a lot better time doing it. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. 
the thing is this bike isn't just for the open road this isn't just for the you know the adventure as it were you know the off-road adventure the uh, the long distance adventure this is just a daily ride you know you can get in and out of town it's it's slim enough to be able to feel that you can filter through traffic you know get in and out on the small spaces as well look it's not going to be as nimble as a really small bike but it's it's definitely feels whilst it feels big it also feels nimble and small enough to achieve everything else that you want to achieve as well this tft screen is just brilliant really good just like the bmw and the mutaguzzi v85 as i say they got great screens a lot of the, uh, the motorcycle manufacturers are going this way with this it's almost like an ipad look at it i mean just look at the thing it's just really good ergonomically all the switches are really nice and there's lots of commonality obviously because it's the same brand with all the other uh, triumphs as well all the switch gear all works and you know you you kind of get into that mode of knowing exactly where everything is if i had to say whether this bike was a contender for me as a, an all-around bike as a tourer bike if i want to go on a longer distance want to do my endurance riding yes definitely this is definitely a contender and i'm seriously going to be considering this certainly over the scrambler and certainly over the 1200 i think this is a much better buy and it's reflected in the sales this is their biggest seller triumph they've kind of hit gold with this and i think you will too if this kind of this is the kind of bike you like in terms of style this is the one what can i say it's great all round it's brilliant and it's rides really fantastic but anyway look there's a couple more videos coming at the end of this all i can say is go test ride it you'll enjoy it it's a great bike and if you get a chance to go do some off-roading with it you'll see how decent it is it's not going to be fantastic uh, just like a small off-road bike but it's going to be really decent and a lot better than uh the big uh, adventure bikes off-road but i tell you what great bike lovely to ride lovely to handle lovely in every way that you can think of the only thing that you probably may not like is the styling of the top style of bike if it's that if that's not your cup of tea but otherwise riding wise brilliant anyway i think i need to go and dry off but look so there's a couple more videos coming at the end of this but don't forget to subscribe like and share check out the website revelatealf.com and i'll catch you again on another video and maybe i might be riding this one in the future who knows catch you again ta-da